Okay, this how-to video is going to describe um, a new set of DRC checks that was introduced into uh, AllCAD and Allegro PCB Editor in regard to Flexi Rigid. So, with the introduction of Flexi Rigid, obviously there's a lot of mask layers that you can now start to include um, from a cross-section point of view. Things like your cover layers, your gold um, surfacing, plating, all that type of thing. Um, and we need to be able to do a DRC check for bend areas and, and that type of thing. So, if we look at um, Constraint Manager, so we're going to set up constraints we now have under the spacing tab uh, an interlayer spacing worksheet that you can start to kind of define all your mask layers to all your other mask layers or in some instances some, some of the etch layers as well so um, there's some pre preset ones that we've done already in this demo uh, and then we'll also go and create a new one as well so uh, start off I've got like a bend area to a stiffener flex and I need a you need a certain gap between kind of a bend area or the flexi to the stiffener part of the of the PCB to stop peeling um, so if we just minimize constraint manager I've actually got a color view file set up for this already so we'll just use the color view file zoom in so I've obviously got the bend area I've got the stiffener flex uh, and I'm getting a DRC marker here because they're touching and what we actually need is a 20 thou gap so I can invoke something like shape edit mode and, and literally just start to slide this out of the way and then the DRC disappears obviously if I go less than the, the 20 mils I'm going to get the DRC up to the 20 mils and the DRC is cleared if we then go back to Constraint Manager and we start to look at some of these other two, so I've got effectively one inside two and two inside one. I can, I can set effectively either an, a, a gap, an overlap, a one inside two or a two inside one as a different kind of rule set for me to specifically work out um, what I'm needing. So gap would obviously need the, the clear gap. I can put one inside one, so one inside two, two inside one. You can have an overlap as well. Um, so if we look at these two, obviously from a gold point of view, you want to make sure that the cover lay is um, completely clear around the, 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 the plating areas, or in certain instances you want to make sure you've got a certain amount of clearance um, to these type of things. So if we go and look at these two DRCs, so we'll look at DRC2 first. Um, in this instance, obviously there's the, the, the gold fingers, and I need to make sure that I've got a certain amount of clearance to the cover lay. Um, if I hover over the DRC, I've only got a a 6.575 clearance and what I actually need is 15 mil so again we can use the shape edit mode and we'll just literally just slide this up to the 15 mils and the DRC disappears if we go and look at DRC 3 in this instance I've effectively got a shape for the for the cover lay I've got a shape for the gold area um, and the shapes aren't aligned and they need to be aligned perfectly for this type of thing to, to work. Hover over the DRC, again we're getting an overlap. Need, these need to be exactly on top of one another. So we can literally just move the shape, make sure we've got shapes enabled, and then just bring, oops, let's move the actual shape. And align the two shapes and the DRC disappears. If we go back to Constraint Manager, there's also one where we can start to look at things like etch to the design outline. Um, yeah, there's things like a root keeping, which has been the traditional way to do this type of DRC, but because the design outline now has a bit of intelligence, what we can start to do is actually um, define a DRC rule from the design outline. Um, so if we go and look at the outline to the edge DRC marker, you can see here, obviously, my, my distance from the design outline is less than what I specifically need. So if you wanted an inner layer to have a slightly different clearance to an outer layer you can start to use the interlayer spacings and in this example I needed a 45 mil gap so I could literally just come and edit the shape all the way up clear the DRC uh, and I'm good to go so to create um, an interlayer spacing rule what I need to do is effectively start off pick pick the two layers and then drive the rule from that so we'll start off I've got um, I want to use vias and pins I've got a transition area um, where I'm transitioning from a flexi to a rigid part and I want to make sure that I don't put vias too close to that transition area. So we'll start off, we'll use the vias and pins and that gives me kind of the, the options for the, the vias and pins layer and then I can just start typing here to find out, I want to find the transition zone. I've got a transition zone, it's going to be on flexi one so I then get effectively the vias and pin on flexi one to the transition zone. I want this to be a gap, I need it to be... 12 thou for example I'm going to enable the DRC I can put my own label on here so I could call this um, T for transition zone um, what layer do I want to put the, the, the DRC marker on so I'm going to say flex one and then I could say you know just give it a description transition zone T 
to BIOS. Once that's there, if we then go back to, to PCB editor, let's just go to the BIOS area. Um, obviously there's my BIOS, if we just run an update DRC and then turn on the, the Flex1 DRCs, you can see now that these BIOS are closer than my rule, hover over the DRC marker. I've got a 5mm gap and I actually need a 12mm gap so I can just do standard kind of slide commands to clear my DRCs very very quickly.